In this video, I've got some cool audio effects coming up for Adobe Premiere Pro. Check out my Premiere Pro audio presets. If you're working with dialogue, different microphones, or you need to do some noise reduction in your videos, you need these audio presets. Head over to mrc.fm slash presets to download them now. That's mrc.fm slash presets. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. It sound right, boy. Maybe you want to sound like you're on an old time radio. You'd like a music bed to end before it really does end. You'd like to improve the sound of your audio, or you'd simply like to sound like a chipmunk or a dark lord. Let's investigate how we do this right now. And the first one is really simple. I've got a sample of me speaking and I want to sound like I'm on an old time radio. You can sound like you're on an old time radio. So this is just me speaking to my microphone. But if I now go into the audio workspace and I just let's crop this clip out by using the C, the razor tool, work only on this, select it as dialogue here, and you simply tick EQ. And then there's three presets here that work really well. Uh, the first one is intercom. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and bring in the loop shortcut, which is available to me up here. Let's bring that down and loop round this little bit of audio so we can hear exactly what this EQ effect does. So I'm placing in and out. You can sound like you're on an old time radio. Pretty cool. You can sound like you're on an old time And the more radio. I increase it. You can sound like you're on an old time radio. The more it increases the effect and makes it sound cool. So that's intercom. There's also old radio. Let's try this. So you can sound like you're on an old time radio. And again, old time radio sound. And the other one is on the telephone. And again, this is boosting the kind of mid frequencies, the frequencies you'd expect to be associated with sounding like you're on the phone. You can sound like you're on an old time radio. So it's really good for changing the sound of a voice and adding that old time radio telephone intercom effect that's so popular in many of our video productions. Now, another thing you can do is, of course, you can bring music in. And I'm going to drag and drop a music track here and start it playing back. It's probably going to be too loud. OK, so that's definitely loud in comparison to the voice. But that's OK, because I'll mute out the voice now and just focus on this music bed. Again, we'll clear these in and out markers so we can hear it in its entirety. OK, so sometimes we want to end the music bed before it ends. Here it's a 30 second piece of music and there's something called reverb. Uh, it's available in Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, I like to call it the false ending because essentially you're taking a piece of music and making it end before it really does using a bit of reverb. So how would we do this? OK, so I want it to end there at the end of that beat. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to duplicate this down onto audio track three. So holding down Alt or Option on my keyboard and dragging down one, I've duplicated this music bed. Now what I'm going to do is solo this track and just focus in on the bit that I want to make reverb into eternity, if you like. So let's go here and cut that, get rid of the start of that. And then we're going to have OK, so we're going to have that little bit here. OK, so it's uh, let's move that a little bit further in. OK, so. OK, so that is the bit that I definitely want to reverb. Now I've cut there, but actually instead of cutting, what you can do is expand this track down and use the pen tool P or select it over here. And I can just fade this down at the point I want to add my reverb. So let's listen. OK, pretty good, but a sharp ending there, isn't it? Uh, so now I'm going to cut this at this point, bring both tracks back in. Now, you'll notice that track goes quite loud at the end. I'm going to fade that down a bit. OK, and then I'm going to go ahead and add an effect to this track. And the way you do that is you simply go into your effects area over here. It's usually over in the left or you can go to the effects workspace uh, or just search for the effects window, uh, which is available right here in the window menu. Then I'm going to search for reverb. But most specifically, I want to be looking for the studio reverb. And when I found that effect, it's under audio effects. I can drag and drop it onto my 
duplicated second track, not the original, the duplicated second track. Place that there. And it's important to have some of this audio playing even after you fade it down so the reverb takes effect. Let's listen to it now. Okay, we got a little bit of reverb, that's good, but we haven't quite dialed it in. So now I'm going to go to my effect controls and find that studio reverb. I'm gonna edit it and I'm gonna find a suitable preset to really make this false ending sound good. So we'll go here. One of my favorite effects is outside club and we'll bring that in and then let's just pop that up there and play this back. There we go, and now we've got a nice false reverb. If we really want to increase the decay time, the amount of time the reverb goes on to, from 2000 to say 4500, that's four and a half seconds. Let's play. And that's a nice false ending to that music. So now we've got this. Let's play back from the start and listen to what it's done. There we go, so false ending. And we can tweak about with these things. We can turn the wet up to make the wet more prominent. We can change high and low frequency cuts as well to make the reverb a little more shiny, like this. There we go, so we've increased the amount of frequencies available in the reverb, and we get a nice clean ending. And of course, we can cut this music bed around here when the reverb decay has finished. Let's play that out. But of course, if we cut it too early, it's gonna cut the reverb as well which is why we need to drag this out a bit to get the full effect of the reverb. So, so far we've done old time radio effects, we've done false ending to music beds, but that's not it. Let's dive back in and look at one of my favorite and little known cool audio effects in Adobe Premiere Pro. It's overall mastering to make your audio sound good. So let's bring my vocals back in and let's actually duck down the music a bit. Let's go to the audio track mixer and bring these music tracks down ever so slightly so you can hear what's being said maybe push my you can sound like voice you're up old time radio you can increase the quality of your audio with just a bit of subtle clarity okay let's move this out a little bit to the end here you can increase the quality of your audio with just a bit of subtle clarity and now i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to do something really really cool i'm going to pop out this top left triangle here to get an effects rack now you have effects racks for all of your audio tracks audio one two and three see one two and three but you also have a mix track which is your overall audio mix that's everything inside your sequence so the dialogue the music the sound effects everything and over here, when I complete a project in Premiere Pro, I like to go into Special and I like to look for Mastering. And one of my favorite presets inside Mastering, it's really easy to set up, is Subtle Clarity. It's brilliant for enhancing the sound of the audio on your videos. The only thing I suggest you change here is pull the reverb from 20% down to zero. Otherwise, you're going to have that kind of reverb sound going on in the background. Now let's bring this back and play. You can increase the quality of your audio with just a bit of subtle clarity. And then let's remind ourselves with that disabled. You can increase the quality of your Enable. audio with just a bit of subtle clarity. And as you can hear, it's enhancing the sound. If you want to really boost up highs, I suggest that you increase the exciter here. Let's listen to that. You can increase the quality of your audio with just a bit. Too much of that can go a little bit too sibilant though, so be careful with that. And if you want really good compression on your video, try the loudness maximizer. You can increase the quality of your audio with just a bit. And notice that I'm going over zero dB there, so I probably need to also go ahead and turn that down a little bit on the master track so it doesn't distort too much. And increase the quality of your audio with just a bit of and the final thing i'd probably go ahead and do is go back into special and i'd find the loudness meter and i'd make sure i'm conforming to loudness standards but that's for another video mastering with the subtle clarity effect is absolutely awesome try it on your next video you will thank me and finally the fourth and final one, it's a little bit of fun. We're going to leave the mastering effect on, but now we're going to add in a new effect. And I'm going to split out these files so I can add on the effect to two different clips here. Uh, so we'll go and search over in our effects again for pitch, and we'll drag on the pitch shifter to both this one and this one. And then when we go into the effect controls, we'll go to the effect controls, first of all, for this one, and we'll edit the pitch shifter. 
and we'll push this up to maybe 10 sem semitones plus. And then on this one, we'll edit it and we'll push this one down to 10 semitones minus. There's also some really cool presets, Angry Gerbil, Deathly, Stretch, and the Dark Lord. And you'll see adding this pitch shifter effect does this. You can sound like a chipmunk. Or you can sound like the dark <laughs> So it's just a bit of fun. So much you can do. Four of my favorite cool audio effects for Adobe Premiere Pro. Did I miss anything out? Anything you'd like me to see cover in more detail in a future video? Do it. Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure to like this video. You want to see more like this? Then subscribe to the channel and ding the bell so you never miss another video from me. Music Radio Creative.com